dry Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? shattered it's about quarter seven in the morning yeah um and i forced Liam to get up yeah, <laughs> to watch the sunrise like, staggered sleep, wasn't it? But, it was yeah. expected, I think. Um, but we really want to get up and see the sunrise um and just look at this view in the daylight it's which is like beautiful it might be one of the like the nicest beach i've ever seen in person personally like, 100 just i said the sand is like it's got like a blanket it's uh yeah amazing we're not sure if we want to spend more time by the beach or pool today because I, know, and the, I like to get in the water a lot because i get hot but the water i'm looking at it right now it's so calm oh, here let me turn it around uh, yeah i just spotted jenny's that. found the hammock just there um yeah but kind of between that grassy mound um, and i think it was just through the trees there that yeah you can kind of see the edge of it they have the fire pit where they had small than that so maybe that's somewhere to go tonight after dinner if you want Definitely, yeah. it smelled amazing the fly pit and still the warmth in the air, the sea breeze. Oh, it feels great to be clean last night and come and just get some fresh air this morning. Right? How Floridian does it feel? Oh, do you know, yeah, I, I joked with him, like, even the, even the um, bar of soap, I was like, oh my god, it smells like flora now, we're just buzzing to it. You've been disappointed by your lack of lizards that you see. I know, <laughs> I said that, I was like, you know, we've not seen any lizards yet, but I think it's because Clearwater was basically out like an island, isn't it? Yeah. So I was like, they'd have to hitch a ride or, you know, trek the bridge to come, so yeah. I think that's why there aren't many. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, this is something quite special, I have to say, a uh, perfect way to wake up in the, in the morning and uh, a few people knocking around although the balconies over there look pretty empty at the moment um, and that's just like the spa area over there because this is also a spa and you can get treatments and things too so yeah I mean, look at that yeah wow you caught the dolphin sunrise on know, a honeymoon perfect seeing dolphins absolutely perfect we're really worried we wouldn't catch it on video i think you can just about figure it out because i zoomed in it might have been blurry i have shaky hands so i'm sorry but <laughs> look at this i can't view. believe how close to like shore the dolphins are i know really close That's can mad. you believe it no i can't so our room service has arrived um jenny wants to eat it in bed for our first morning it's a big puppy bed i feel like we should yeah, exactly. So I think if I can move this off, hopefully I can show what we've ordered. I'll put it back on the tray in a minute. I've gone for something sweeter, and there it is, the Banana Foster's French Toast, which looks massive. And Jenny has gone for the Eggs Benedict, the Hollandaise sauce, which also looks very, very nice. And then we've got two raspberry mimosas and a cappuccino and a latte, and that smells lovely. So yeah, we're gonna tuck into this in bed. So breakfast is all consumed. Oh, it's was was really nice. Yeah. yeah, I think the tiredness of flying yesterday, and also just like the build up to the wedding, having like eighty people that were socialising, and like we had, you know, we had lovely family and friends coming from Australia, mm -hmm. Japan, America. Like we had people travelling all over to come and see us. Yeah. So all the socialising, mixing people, I think just the tiredness really hit it's us. Caught didn't up it? with us. Yeah. So I we think... sat in bed with our mimosas, and we were like. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> we didn't really talk much about the wedding, but it was just the best day we possibly could have asked for. And everyone who came made it what it was. And we just so felt so loved and so grateful. Anyone who's been married or had a wedding, you know, probably knows how we feel, uh, knows what we mean. So. 
that was amazing. I'm sure um, we'll share lots of photos, especially with our little Disney theme. 100%. Um, when we have them all, but our photographer gave us a sneak peek, didn't she? So she we're did. over the moon with the photos we've already seen. Um, we've been at Sandpel just over, or just under 12 hours, and already I'm just blown away by it as a resort. It's yeah. incredible. Um, yeah. Like aesthetically, the view from our balcony, as you would have seen this morning. But basically, uh, there is potentially a hurricane on its way to the Gulf, uh, the Gulf of Mexico, so the west coast mm -hmm. of Florida, which happens to be where we are. Um, <laughs> we did know this booking a honeymoon trip during hurricane season, so mm -hmm. when obviously it's not a complete shock um, no, that there has no. been like a tropical. I, it's always a risk when you come Storm, cyclone, yeah. it keeps changing names. I don't really know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so as it stands, I think it's a tropical cyclone. Looks mm -hmm. like it's going to be a hurricane. And um, yeah, it will kind of come inland as well, uh, well reach the coast. We're on a hurricane watch where we are at the moment in Tampa, mm -hmm. in clear water. Um, and yeah, the color code, we're now pink, which is close to red, which is hurricane like yes. warning. Yeah, exactly. Um, so basically, originally our plan was, I mean, today is Tuesday. And we were originally going to be staying here for four nights, obviously including last night, and departing Friday and actually hiring a car, which we'd already booked, to drive us to um, Orlando. Mm -hmm. However, it seems that from Wednesday night onwards, specifically Thursday, the storm is going to cause a significant rainfall. I think I read somewhere 50 millimetres, mm -hmm. basically meaning there's a strong chance bridges, roads, etc. will be shut. Yes, um, and that main bridge to get into yes. get to Clearwater Beach. Yeah. I noticed even last night before there was any bad weather, the water's very high it to, is. to the yes. roads. We've basically undenard. It's not been the, it's been a little bit of a stressful start to the honeymoon because of it, but we've kind of settled on something now. We've actually gone and booked two nights at Cabana Bay Resort in Universal. <laughs> uh, we're not yet sure whether we're going to go into any of the Universal parks. We hadn't planned that originally. So we're going to kind of see we'll how, see how, how we feel. Feels. Yeah. So basically, originally we were going to be here for four nights. It now mm -hmm. looks like we will be here for just two nights, which means for tonight will be our last night in Clearwater. But we've got an entire day ahead of us. We are now planning to go down to the beach, down to the pool, hopefully grab lunch at uh, Frenchie's Rockaway Grill, which is really renowned. How amazing was that sunrise this morning? Sunrise this morning was I'm gorgeous. so glad I made Liam get up for that. It was 100% worth it. And uh, I don't know if that came out that clearly in the videos, but we did actually see some dolphins we in did. the wild. I um, know, that was me who was filming and you can tell the difference between tech stuff with me and Liam. He's no, so good no. at that kind of you're, stuff. No, you're good, you're good I have shaky hands and I didn't have the little, it's called the gimbal, the little holder thing we have for the yeah. phone. So, um, yeah, if you see like a black smudge and me, me and Liam going, oh my God, that's a dolphin. Just, yeah. just believe us we're again annoyingly planning to go to bush gardens tomorrow we'd already paid for the tickets a sloth experience and the fast track tickets however i'm not sure how good the weather's going to be tomorrow in tampa meaning if a lot of the rides could be shut yeah if it's torrential rain and also there's really high winds i think they've put us on a red yes, warning for wind tomorrow have. and I think we're just thinking like if we are only now having two nights here we want to make the most of the hotel mm -hmm. so we're willing to let that money go which is a massive shame if that's the case especially as i mean jenny's dad treated us to a sloth experience there so we're very sad to think that that might not be happening now but every cloud prioritizing our safety yeah. is the most important thing as gutting as it is to miss bush gardens um and you know extra clear water days and plans we you know had to go and see local sites yeah and, that's the most important thing. And it just means we have to come back. It does. We are, we'll 100% be back here at Sandpel. It's an incredible resort and uh, clear water at the beach. We haven't even been on it yet and it looks gorgeous. But I know, I'm um, itching to get on it now. We will go head down now. Um, but yeah, so basically it just means we're probably going to leave tomorrow evening. I think the rainfall gets particularly bad from about 6 p.m. onwards tomorrow, Wednesday. So we'll probably look to get a taxi around 5 p.m. I have pre booked an Uber um, from uh, Sandpel here in Clearwater to Cabana Bay in Orlando. That was coming out. Um, I can't remember how much I paid. Oh, well I over hundred dollars. One hundred and ninety. One hundred and ninety, something like extras, that. Yeah. Which we got quoted by another taxi driver. Well over three hundred. So that looked quite good. But obviously mm -hmm. with Uber, there's no guarantee they'll accept the ride. So I've got free cancellation on that. So I'm going to go down to reception now, tell them see our situation, see if they can maybe book us a taxi. But either way, we will be on our way tomorrow evening. Unfortunately, uh, to the Orlando area earlier than planned. But it's not exactly the world's smallest violin going to Orlando, is it? And also, <laughs> um, we still get to enjoy some of Sand Pearl and Clearwater here today. So on that note, we're going to now head down and uh, look to show you the best that Sand Pearl and Clearwater has to offer. I love that noise of flip-flops. <laughs> and Liam and I, OK, we're going to give you free, free feet pics for just two seconds. We have matching <laughs> flip-flops. We do. Mini meals. These will be coming on the cruise, most definitely. Mickey and Minnie. 
Love that. Rattalan, one pair were five pounds, one pair were six pounds. Even when we're not at a Disney hotel, we bring Disney with us. <laughs> There's the piano from last night that plays itself. Just been to reception and sorted the taxi and early leaving situation. Now we're gonna have a little look in the shop collections. I do like this one, I have to say. It's actually one of the cheaper ones at $118 for Tommy the Hammer. That's lovely. Mm, nice material. Mm -hmm. So this is the coffee area. Uh, it's called like the market, not the marketplace, there you go. And um, you can get various sort of sandwiches, pastries and stuff there. And they also sell Starbucks coffee, don't they? Which is what we had in the room this morning. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, but we're gonna head out this way now and head down to the beach. We found a lizard. Look at him. Our first lizard of the honeymoon. Oh, he's run away. Show him. He's run away, but yeah. You wanna see our room? Which one do you reckon it is? I know, because I counted it already. So with my finger, I'm gonna point it to that one right there. Ah, oh, oh yeah, because we so are very far to the side. one below the top floor and we're the second one. I wonder if we can see how much of a state our room is in from here. <laughs> Just close your eyes, yeah. everyone. Just close this, your this eyes. This is lovely, although it's very loud from the room, isn't it? This um, When Jenny was out on the balcony earlier, she couldn't hear a word I was saying because of it. I mean, it's not hard. My hearing's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh yeah, I'm very excited for a dip in the pool, a dip in the sea. Hopefully you won't get eaten by any sharks. This just feels like pure Florida. This is like Florida epitomized. It's a gorgeous day. Blue sky, sunny. Highs I think 34 today. And then they've got these little sun beds you can have here with the canapes over the top. So by the activities desk, they actually sell some Sam Pearl merch, including some Sam Pearl t-shirts. I love the colour of that. That's and so they've got UV nice. ones. Is that a UV one? Or is this that one isn't, a, but no, they have just ones a, the brown one. I love yeah. this one. That is nice. Yeah, just here they've got like a UPF 50 Sam Pearl long sleeve, which is really nice. I like that a lot. Um, I think they do quite a few different activities around here. But right here you've got a little game of drafts you can get involved in. And some cool artwork up there too. push the exit button to uh, open the gate we've just learned. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where you scan your key. And then yeah, you need your key card to get back in, but there's just another view of Sand Pearl there, and just to show you its proximity to its private beach. This is the hammock I saw from our room. Go on, get in it. Woo! You in the hammock? <laughs> yeah, I'm set for the day. All right, I'll leave you here. I'll oh. see you in about eight hours. <laughs> For someone who doesn't do too well in the heat, I am uh, already feeling it, but um, can't complain too much when you're here, can you? I mean, Look at the it's gorgeous. The I don't know if I can show that down there. But yeah. It's so cute. Oh, it's just really nice. It's really nice to explore, isn't it? I think we might go for a little wander up the beach. Um, I'm collecting it for shells. <laughs> you've got a little shell? Yeah, just a little one. So everything at the pool is complimentary, including the hotel. But if you want to rent anything on the beach, so an umbrella, a cabana, a bed, you can see beach umbrellas are $30, cabanas 40, and beach beds 125. But obviously that fits two people. Jenny's miles ahead of me, already on the beach. So Jenny's been warning this whole trip. She doesn't want me going, going in the sea or too far in the sea. She's worried about sharks. And to be fair, there is a big shark population around the coast of Florida. However, this morning, all she would talk about was wanting to go in the sea. And I said, you've changed your tune. So we'll see now how brave she's gonna be with the sea. But down there is Pier 60, I believe, where you can actually do some fishing on the end of it. And obviously here, plenty of sunbeds on the private beach. Not too many of them occupied at the moment either, which is nice. Nothing worse than a crowded beach. 
Here is Sam Pearl. Our bird is in the second row behind here. I don't think there's any competition here. Jenny did her little one with a little heart around it. But I've done a monster LNJ. It's good advertising for the YouTube channel. You done another one? The sand is honestly just so soft and the water is just such a lovely temperature. Um, literally like a paradise beach it really is there's a pier out there oh no it's washing away oh lovely apparently the seagulls are quite aggressive in clear water so i'm gonna keep an eye on him and him yeah but you just wait till you've got food oh he's broken oh also i think for lunch when we are hungry i think it's over there we're gonna go to frenchie's rockaway grill it's right by the hotel there's plenty of hotels along the front and it's actually it's not like dead in terms of not being people here, but it's also not too busy, so it's, it's honestly perfect. We're now going to head back to the sun beds and relax for a bit, maybe get a couple of drinks delivered to the uh, beds because they've got a QR code on there. Have a little snooze. A little snooze. I was just saying to Jenny, I don't think I've ever been to a beach this nice. That like, it's just beautiful. pristine. It's just, oh, it's so nice. It's really, really, and the sand is just so soft on your feet. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. This is actually, we were working out, it's our first uh, time to a beach abroad together. Yeah, we've done some UK beaches. Where we live in Suffolk, we're quite close to beaches. We're so, very lucky uh, to live near the beach. Well, obviously, it's nothing like this. It's, but... so so it's like fluffy. That's how I would describe the sand. Fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah, fluffy. But yeah, it's uh, honestly, it is absolute paradise. I just can't believe we're lucky enough to be here and it's such a great place to start off the honeymoon. In fact I can see our room like I know, on the beach. I know. it's just awesome. I'm just I'm in awe of this place it's amazing. We'll um, be back. We will 100% be we'll back. Ooh, um, the taxi driver got in touch with me and because there's so many people moving inland because of the storm tomorrow they've had to push our like taxi booking forward so we're actually going to get picked up around 3 p.m rather than 5 p.m so that completely means that there's going to be no bush gardens tomorrow but Liam's discovered I collect shells. Yes. <laughs> This is our this is our um, holiday arrangement. I'm sorting all of the taxis so we don't get consumed by a storm. And, and I'm thinking, and I'll and get cocktail get, and collection. <laughs> but no, yeah. So we're it's a shame we're going to have to leave as early as we are. But we'll we'll make of it. You know, we'll make a good situation out of it. Um, and yeah, maybe go out international drive or the Mouse or something tomorrow, and then maybe even go to Universal for a day. So it's all right. It is what it is, and uh, we're just lucky to have been here anyway. I mean. Look at that, amazing. So we've come back and there's a menu <laughs> on our sunbed, um, which is the Tate Island Grill menu, which is where we went in uh, last week's vlog, uh, the day we arrived. And uh, <coughs> those who didn't see it, we had the grilled chicken club with fries, which was huge, wasn't it? it, I, it I wouldn't say it was a club sandwich, it was a monster. <laughs> yeah, a monster chicken. It was delicious, yeah. but it was massive. I think we had like a moment of we forgot the portion sizes between UK and US are so different. We so did. We got a, a surprise, but we, we tried our best. <laughs> we did, but we're not going to eat anything yet, I don't think, so we want to go to Frenchies. But drinks-wise, I've got these zero-proof cocktails, and uh, they've got a virgin pina colada, which I've got my eye on, and obviously they've got the frozen lemonade, which we had last night too. Um, so it's a good little menu, I have to say. Um, on the back, I've noticed I've picked up a phrase this trip. I keep saying I have to say. <laughs> I've noticed that. I have to say. It's because I have to tell you guys. I like when Liam says, I believe, and then states the fact that he's researched like four months ago. But he's like, I believe this is the case. It's called modesty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll probably grab a drink and I think you can probably order it to be delivered to the sunbed. So that's what we're going to aim to do. Our drinks have arrived. We were just trying debating which one tastes better because they're both incredible. Okay, let me try them again. So I've gone for the Jeez. virgin pina colada and Jenny's gone for the virgin strawberry daiquiri. Taste test on both of them. I'm, I'm not deciding. They're equally perfect. They're equally perfect, but they're, oh, we, we the decided. Pina colada can sometimes be like really sweet and obviously it's not got the booze in it, but like it's the perfect amount of like sweetness, creamy, refreshingness. You see, I'm really working on my description. You are doing very well yeah. so far. This is one of the, 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 the uh, big focuses of this vlog series. It's description of <laughs> food and drink. We've it and we're like, what are we going to improve on this time to just make it better for you? I, I actually don't have words for this one. It's just, it's your classic strawberry daiquiri, but it's, it's perfect. It, mm -hmm. it tastes like actually the frozen strawberry Minute Maid lemonade in... ABC Commissary? Yes, I was just yeah, thinking ABC I, I Commissary in Hollywood Studios, yeah. The, from our 2022 trip, right? Is that yep. when we had that? That was the last time we went to ABC Commissary. Yeah. Look at this. 
Full okay, of yeah, full brilliant, of brilliant. Ellen Jake history. hasn't got booze because I'd be, you know, <laughs> Yeah, we were thinking accurate. as we're a little bit under the weather um, and it's very hot, we're not going to dive into the alcohol yet. But um, I have spied the dragon fruit margarita later. Is that a, that's an alcoholic one, is it? It is yeah. indeed, yeah. Because, you know, like a margarita is a classic. Once we're by the pool and we've got some food in us, then I think that's fine to have a yeah, bit of a. I might, I might get a rum based cocktail. But oh, how lovely is this just sitting perfect. here on a beach? We're just saying how we feel so lucky even obviously considering the fact we've had to change plans we're just so grateful yeah, to be here and 100%. just even have one day yeah and you know if we've only got one day at clear water we may as well do it right so getting room service, you know, room service yeah. with champagne and just uh -huh. yeah, really enjoying I mean, ourselves mocktails by the beach and then grab a group of sandwich for lunch and dip in the pool and oh, uh, dinner at Coretta on the Gulf tonight yeah. which is the fine dining restaurant here. Yeah, so. Yes, yeah. Well, I love that bit where you've like had a day at the beach or the pool and you go and shower and get ready for dinner. And oh. if you've got time you squeeze in an hour nap. Oh yeah. That's the best thing. Oh 100%. But yeah. Love the look of these drinks and the taste of this pina colada. Is oh my god, so good. Uh, very feeling very chilled right now um, I went and had a dip in the pool just to cool off and then came back um, we've actually also now got wristbands as well which we were supposed to have in the first place but another thing for the scrapbook which is cool um, but yeah so pool is lovely it's, it's really cold when you first get in because of how hot it is but then perfect temperature after that so we're gonna chill here for a bit longer and then um, yeah go and grab some lunch I think after that my phone's quite low battery so hopefully we'll get to vlog a bit of lunch on Jenny's before I go back to the room to give it a recharge. So we wanted to grab lunch at uh, Frenchie's, but it's shut. I um, forgot they were renovating, yeah. so they're, they're, they're still fully renovating. There's ladders and paint, and yeah. they're very busy, you know, busy doing that. For those who don't know, Frenchie's is like one of the most famous places in Clearwater where they do like the group of sandwich and that, but yeah, they're still shut for renovation. So we're back at Tate Island Grill, and um, what are we gonna get? We are looking at some of the island openers because um, we're hungry but not like starved. So the group of nuggets and then the nachos. Okay. So yeah, I think um, yeah, Jenny nearly got cut off there, but basically what we've ordered is, because uh, I can't have the group of sandwich, we've got some group of nuggets to try. Yeah, we've, we've got as close to, with to a sandwich With a Creole remoulade, whatever that is, um, oh. we've got some normal sauces here too, and we've got some barbecue pork pork nachos with sour cream and guacamole as well, so Yummy. nice light bite, and then after that mm -hmm. the plan is to go to the pool and you want to sleep. <laughs> I was dozing earlier when Liam was like, have you updated about a spa? I will tell him oh. in a minute. Well, Liam went off and was doing some exciting things. Um, so I was kind of dozing on the beach. Um, but yeah, I think I'm ready for a, an afternoon nap after lunch, like under an umbrella in the shade. And yeah, just yeah. listen to the sound of the pool. Fair enough. Yeah, so well, what I did is um, I went up to uh, the spa earlier and I've booked us in for a couple's massage tomorrow because we don't know what the weather's going to be like. And as we've only got two days here now, we thought let's just go all out. Had the breakfast in bed this morning. We're eating what we want. Um, we've hired, obviously, we got the sun umbrellas and all of that. And we're like, you know what? We're only here for two nights now. So we're going to have a spa treatment. We've got a Swedish massage booked for an hour each and a couple's massage came to about $320, which is very steep. However, some good news, which I didn't even realize, is when I went to reception um, and I asked about checkout time, they spoke of our refund for the two nights we're not staying here, which we weren't expecting. Did not expect. Because obviously, we're leaving on our own decision, aren't we? Yeah. So we, you know, kind of accepted we'd just forfeit the, the, the rate that we paid for the rooms for each night. But um, yeah, that was really nice. So it's basically paying for our max out for us because we'd already accepted we were losing that money. So. Now we're getting relaxed in the process. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to, I think our plan for tomorrow will be to go to the spa early because we get access to it from nine for the whole day um, and then go and have our massage and chill by the pool for a couple of hours before then getting our taxi, which is picking us up at 3 p.m. to take us to Orlando uh, to hopefully beat the storm. But yeah, um, we're, really, we're just having the best time today, even if it is just the one full day here. It's been a real experience, hasn't it? Really lovely. Yeah, so relaxing. Yeah. Everything you thought it would be? And more. Good. Well, with that being said, yeah, we're gonna dive into some food soon and then chill by the pool for the rest of the day. So in the distance where you can see that boat, we've seen a few dolphins emerge from the water and typically now, oh, there was one just there. If you see that little splash by the boat, there are the dolphins coming out. Oh, 
Oh, really big gel. We were just wondering if they put something in the water to get them to like appear. Oh, we give um, Peggy, our dog, like these really tiny treats. They're like training treats and they can taste your minis. So I just joked and said, like, do you think they just chuck a couple like tasty minis <laughs> over here? It's probably like tiny fish being like, go on. Yeah, and then they just appear and they give yeah. a little trick. Yeah, it's great. I just they're, can't believe how shallow they out. are, like in the water. Yeah, I know. It's right? really close to the coast. They are. Yeah. yeah. There you go, you can do lots of uh, boat tours. We were going to do one, but obviously now the time's been cut short, we'll have to do it next time. Our food's arrived. These are the grouper nuggets, which I'm excited to try. Do you know what they remind me of? Uh, um, Gator bites yep. from Homecoming. Homecoming, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was thinking the same. And they smell a bit the same as well. Some fish. Thank you. You, do you want to try one? Yeah, yeah, go for it. That's the Creole Remoulade. Don't know if you want to try it. It looks a bit like a tartar sauce sort of thing. Oh yeah, really fresh. Tastes nice, yeah. I know you're not, you're not obviously, a, you don't have prawns or anything like that, but. Oh, I like fish though. Yeah, is it nice? What does it remind you of? Is it a bit like cod, yeah. haddock, or, or something entirely different? Yeah, kind of like cod, but yeah. mm, different, fresh, fresher. You can see like the tasting. Yeah, mm, and then. you're gonna really like it. I'm gonna pinch. Oh, that's a bit, a bit boring. We got a pulled pork nacho here. Lovely. Yeah, mm -hmm. good. Just wanted to show this grouper nugget is so fresh like you can tell it's like freshly caught can't you sorry i'm catching you when you're eating again um i forgive you so, and that's a really nice like dip with it i don't know if you've tried it yet but it's kind of reminds yeah, me like a sort of dip. sort of tartar sauce maybe with a bit of a kick um and then yeah obviously nachos in america are always amazing to be fair oh. Two cocktails, don't we? Yeah, you got the blue swirl, blue pearl. And it's, I got the, the, it's the Tate Island signature one. I got a coconut mojito. Go on, then give us a taste test. Very refreshing. Yeah, cheers. Cheers again. So, a fair, fair bit of time has passed since we got the last filming. Mm -hmm. um, we've had showers, we've, you know, got ourselves clean, fresh feeling. Yeah, we had a nice little chill time by the pool this afternoon, mm -hmm. um, after obviously a morning at the beach. So, yeah, we've had a really, really lovely day at uh, Santa. I think we've kind of done the resort justice today, obviously having you know, the island grill and doing mm -hmm. the private beach bit, the pool, like I said. Uh, These rocking chairs well. are so good. <laughs> yeah, the rocking chairs. Um, and tonight we are headed to uh, Coretta on the Gulf, which I believe is the only, I think it's called Four Star AAA Diamond something restaurant in Clearwater. Uh, I might put that at the bottom um, to confirm what that, what that was. Uh, but yeah, it's a very fancy restaurant and do a lot of seafood and things as well, but also steaks or a few pasta dishes, things like that. Mm -hmm. So excited to go there. Um, but at the moment, we're just having a quick sit on our balcony, taking yeah, the just, breathtaking views. Just enjoying the sunset. We, I think we're going to go for a little beach walk. Yes, we are. Yeah, we're going to go for a little stroll before we head to dinner, which is booked for 8 o'clock. Yes, moment. it is 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. So, so we have an hour. Deal, so that's good. It's not a cheap restaurant, that's fair to say. No, um, it's not. I think you were saying it's like $28 for like some starters. There was one so. starter on there. It was a Carpaccio, which was $35. What's that? Uh, like a pasta thing, I think. And then there was the, a lot of the main courses, kind of around the $35 mark. And then there was mm. obviously steaks on there for the 60s, pushing 70s. So um, yeah, well, obviously it's a treat night. It's uh, the one time we're going to be eating it for, yeah. for dinner. And, um, Until next time. <laughs> and um, yeah, obviously it's been pretty short and sweet with clear water. Uh, it's bittersweet, Tampa. isn't it? And it's bittersweet as well, yeah. We've had the kind of weather channels going a little bit throughout the day mm -hmm. and kind of followed it. Try not to let it consume everything. As of 8am tomorrow, they are evacuating um, residents and guests staying in clear water um, on the little island bit that we're on. So yeah, well, yeah it's a little bit scary. I don't know if that's 100% our area, but they're certainly evacuating certain parts of around this area of Florida. Because apparently the water um, around us is very, very shallow. So when yeah. it gets windy, it's easy for the wind to just blow all the water. Yeah, specifically in Tampa, yeah. and Tampa Bay. On, um, on board, yeah. Because we're a bit up in the air because even though we're going to Orlando where it should be, conditions should be a bit better, mm -hmm. there's still expected to be very heavy rainfall, quite strong winds. Yes. 
so there's every chance that when we get to Universal Spanish or Banabay, they might shut the park for a day or two, or it might be too, you know, too rainy to want to go to the park. Well, we were looking at potentially, yeah, we were looking at potentially doing a park day on the Thursday. Um, and last time I checked the weather, it said, well, it wasn't going to be really heavy rain until about four o'clock. So we're thinking like it could be worth going just Thursday, in the morning and early afternoon. Thursday's the day when the storm seems to really take, you know, take control. Very Obviously, the you know, most important thing is safety. And we do, I, mean, I feel sorry for a lot of staff who work here and people mm. who live in the local areas because people are talking to about getting sandbags ready for their homes. Yeah. And it's just the sort of thing you don't see in the UK. We don't have extremes of weather like this, really. No, I mean, no. It's a once in a generation thing, so. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the weather guy was talking about like how extreme um, they're predicting the storm surges, they call it the flooding um, inland. And he said it's they've not seen anything as bad since 2005, which was Hurricane Charlie. And I was here for that. That was really scary. And I was only just a small child. She's the link. Um, but I, no. <laughs> I, yeah, I know. I, lo I love storms and thunderstorms and twisters and stuff. But I don't want to be part of it. So hopefully we'll, you know, safety is a priority. I think mm -hmm. we've not really touched clear water, but I think we've done sand pearl justice so far. It's a shame. Yeah, we definitely wanted to spend more time here in clear water, mm -hmm. see some local places, eat in some small, like, independent local restaurants. We did try Frenchie's Rockaway Grill. We did try. Um, which is, that's nothing to do with the storm. That was undergoing renovations anyway and uh, they've been a bit delayed, whether or not they're just waiting to open after the storm's hit, mm -hmm. maybe, but unfortunately, they're not open, so that's why we went to take on a grill for lunch, which to be fair, it was a very good lunch. It was, um, it was really but good. But anyway, we're rambling, I think we're gonna go for a nice walk now, and then off to dinner. Florida fanatics like us or Orlando fanatics cannot stress enough how much you need to do a trip to Clearwater I definitely recommend the Sand Pearl Hotel they have been phenomenal it's a, such a nice resort but genuinely any hotel along this stretch um, I would definitely try and squeeze some Clearwater time into your next trip it's a relaxing vibe it's very different to the rush of like the parks um, and it's just gorgeous, like seeing another part of Florida. And I'm, even though we've only gonna have two days here, I'm just so pleased we did it. And I'm so pleased we've managed to have this time here because this beach is just another level to any beaches I've seen. I mean, the sand is, is just amazing. The water is so warm. The views are spectacular. Like we're just in awe of this place. And uh, it's just what a beautiful backdrop. You could sit see... here all night, couldn't you? Really yeah, good. to see dolphins at sunset. Oh, it just feels magical. Dolphins in the wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. To see wild, you know, wild dolphins. We've only been here less than 24 hours, actually. Yeah, you're right, actually. And we've done so much. In, in that time, we've a done a lot. Time, uh, hopefully yeah. that's reflected in the vlog. And hopefully for those looking for a trip to Clearwater anytime soon, we've given you an insight into what the Sand Pearl Resort has to offer if you are going to be coming anytime soon. The beds are comfortable, the room is beautiful. Obviously, I know we got upgraded to a room with a balcony and a golf view, but um, I'm sure, I mean, the room we were going to have um, I before, can't work out which nice. rooms don't have balconies because it looks like they all do, but clearly there's they some around be, the sides or They might front. be ones that go out the side or the front maybe, yeah. so they're not like pool and golf view. So yeah. maybe that that's the difference. But um, I, I can't recommend this hotel enough, even just from the, less than 24 hours we've been here. Yeah, I think it speaks volumes about how short a time we've spent here and how impactful it's been. That just tells you everything you need to know about this area yeah, of the world and this the hotel staff, specifically. All the staff are lovely. The room is beautiful and comfortable. Mm -hmm. The food that we've already sampled has been really tasty. And cocktails, I, I, the facilities here, like the, look, you can't, you can't get more beautiful than this. But um, I think the only things we really missed is we wanted to do the Sea Screamer dolphin boat yeah. tour 
um, and we wanted to kind of have a little explore and maybe go to a couple of different restaurants. But we've seen some dolphins. I we've can't seen some dolphins. About that. We have, but I think it's probably time to head back to the resort maybe and get um, a drink. maybe get a drink at this time um, and go and grab some dinner at Coretta on the Gulf. But yeah, look at that, and look Stunning. at her. Stunning! Oh, <laughs> no, <nah>, you're too cute. <laughs> Sand pearl. <laughs> it's like my collection of shells, if I could collect the whole beach. <laughs> you would as well. I, I really would. So this is the entrance to Coretta on the Gulf. And as you come through, you just go to the right to the desk and you can see the menu here, which as I say, is predominantly uh, seafood based, but there's a lot of other stuff as well. Um, right, obviously from the grill here. I also think they do uh, a fair bit of sushi as well there so Ooh, very nice yeah and then you come in and you turn to your right to the re and to the reception desk there so we've got a really nice seat uh, outside here just by the pool area and you can see the beach as well of course um, and it's a little light for us so hopefully some things will come out we've just ordered our drinks and I've gone for the day at the beach which is Bacardi Super Rum, Parma, Soda Mint, Orange Lime and a splash of Sprite and you went for the Rosemary Grapefruit Martini uh, which is gin, grapefruit and rosemary, rosemary infused syrup. It sounds really interesting but I love gin, I love grapefruit and rosemary is my favourite herb so I don't know I'm just I thought I'd go different to like the kind of standard stuff I'd gravitate towards. Yeah, fair the enough. Wa the watermelon sounded really nice too. Mm. Yeah, no, it's a good, good little uh, cocktail menu, I have to say. So I wasn't sure about getting a starter at first, but there are a few lighter options. Uh, I was looking at the lobster beer score. Jenny was suggesting I have it because I have had it before, but I can't remember if I liked it enough to go with it. And I want something lighter so I can enjoy my main. So I'm thinking of the Caesar salad. Jenny's looking at the caprese and maybe, maybe adding Iberico ham to it. And then for my main, I've already decided I am going for the herb or herb seared aura king salmon which comes with fingerling potatoes, shallot, vinaigrette, uh, bacon lardons, marcona, almonds, and dill sauce florette. Sounds gorgeous for $42. Do you know what you want for your main yet? Yeah, I'm gonna go for the sea bass. You're gonna go for the sea I bass? I love sea bass. So the sea bass is, yeah, Chilean sea bass, pan seeds, spaghetti squash, scampi butter, and fennel fronds. That was the other one I was looking at, to be fair. Mm -hmm. So we've just ordered and our drinks have arrived. Uh, I can smell this first. You've got your grapefruit one. I can't even remember what I ordered. What was mine? Got the something on the beach. Oh, day at the beach. Day at the beach. Yeah. Oh, we had a day at the beach. Yeah, we did have it. That, that's exactly why I got it. Oh, was it really? It actually was. Was it actually? <laughs> I didn't really, yeah. None of them stood out to me massively, but. So we just had the bread service arrive. Uh, we've got our old favourite, the pale, the queijo, the Brazilian yeah, cheese bread. I'm so excited for um, that. I think you said one of them was an olive bread as well. Um, I remember that. I think this is the olive bread, and that's the pale, the queijo. Then yeah. got a couple of different types of butter, I think, and then a pesto thing over there. So not the best description, but <laughs> let me have a go at this. Uh, said it very quickly, quickly, so yeah, that's from Liam's memory. It's lovely, very nice. Mm. How do you remember? Mm. Yeah, I think I need to go for a bit in the middle for it to be a bit softer. <coughs> <laughs> mm. Nice. <laughs> it's got that spongy texture like last time when we had it. Oh, so. good. Very nice. We were just saying that bread service might be the nicest bread service we've ever had, potentially beating Tiffin's because we had the, the cheese bread, but we also had the, the pesto, which was oh so good, wasn't it? Oh, I'm a huge pesto fan. And with the Brazilian cheese bread, I'm so happy. Um, I, for me, I think that does beat two feet, actually. That was fantastic. Very good start. You can see why this is a, an award-winning restaurant already. So our starters have arrived. I went for the Caesar salad and added chicken, which they said they did blackened, so it's like a kind of yeah, char grill on it. And then it's croutons look good as well. Parmesan and all that, and you've gone for the caprese and added the... I've got the burrata and then I've had some ham as well. Tomatoes are nice, they're those orange tomatoes. Yeah, and I think it's like an apple vinaigrette, so yeah, yeah. really, really nice. So our main courses have arrived and I've gone for the salmon with a lot of things that I can't remember that would have been on the menu <laughs> earlier. 
and you went for Chilean the Chilean can put it at the bottom and yeah. do his magic. You went for the Chilean sea bass. I did indeed. Which also looks very nice. I know. I'm still quite exactly. full from the starter, so, uh, but I'm going to give this a good go. It looks lovely. So our waiter very kindly brought us this uh, creme brulee, which looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Uh, we were just saying we're really full, so we're uh, definitely going to have to give that a good go. To say congratulations, but um, he made us laugh because he said a bit of advice. He said if you're ever going to fight, make sure you fight naked. Um, what did he say? Because the other one. That then, way that we way can't no walk can, out on each other. Can't walk out on each other. I thought it was good. It was funny. Yeah, give this another go. Just a little crack. Oh, I'm stuffed, but I'll never say no to a creme brulee. Yeah, I'll give it a taste. <laughs> Is it good? Your eyes. Your eyes are telling me it's amazing. Have some creme brulee. All right, I'm gonna have to turn this off so I can immediately stuff my face. And so we're back in our room here at San Pearl after a lovely dinner at Coretta on the Gulf. It's quite um, a bit later now, isn't it? We've been quite a bit later, packing yeah. Packing up. Packing up because the uh you know, the adventures continue. Well, we'll come on to that in a second, but just firstly, Coretta on the Gulf, your thoughts on that? Absolutely perfect. Food, drink, the view, mm -hmm. everything was delicious. I'd say it's the Perfect way to end our time here at San Pearl, but it feels like the time has only just begun. Um, the, the food was incredible. The, f f the so delicious. fish was so fresh. I obviously had the salmon, Jenny had the sea bass. We made a mistake getting a starter, even if it was a salad, um, because we're forgetting what portion sizes are like in Florida or in the US typically compared to back home. And uh, yeah, I think it's fair to say we're both very full at the moment. And this is like a couple of hours after we finished so mm, yeah. um but it was really nice and the the waiter gave us a free creme brulee yeah um, that was a lovely touch wasn't it yeah just to say congrats and everything which was really nice so uh, yeah basically before we went for the meal uh i went to reception to ask what the situation was with the storm protocol and they essentially said that tomorrow they've been told it's not official yet but the chances are they're going to have to evacuate the hotel um, there's no sense of urgency in the fact that it doesn't have to be by a certain time, but they basically said by Thursday when it's supposed to get really bad. Mm -hmm. Um, so as it was, even though we chose ourselves to leave, it would have been forced upon us anyway. Yeah. Uh, and obviously we're getting the refund processed and they said everyone else will as well. So obviously we've already sorted our arrangements. However, <laughs> they have since changed again. Whatever we say we're about to do. Just disregard it if it comes to storm, hurricane because ch chances are it's just going to change again. We're learning as we go at the moment, and uh, basically we booked Cabana Bay, obviously, which we were quite happy with. However, we weren't 100% sure what the forecast in Orlando is going to be like, and obviously Disney and Universal aren't that far away from each other. However, it's enough that if the roads were particularly bad, we might struggle to get across to Disney. How so... We then thought, or well, maybe we'd be better off staying at a Disney hotel. We want to make um, it as easy for ourselves as possible, don't we? Yeah, so after dinner, I called Disney directly and tried to see what hotels they had. Now, uh, obviously, we're in Tuesday at the moment, so it would have been Wednesday night and Thursday night. They were able to get availability at the Polynesian for us on the Wednesday night because the Polynesian's where we're due to stay on the Friday. However, Disney was entirely booked out. Every for Disney the room Thursday. is booked out on the um, Thursday. Presumably because maybe locals have thought mm -hmm. they're safer in the hotels, which is understandable, or obviously other tourists like ourselves. However, on both booking.com and hotels.com, I spotted there was availability at the Swan and Dolphin as as well as the Swan Reserve. There was about, what, five rooms left? Something like very that. Very small amount left. Yeah, so we basically, yeah, we booked um, a two nights stay at the Walt Disney World Swan Hotel, um, again through hotels.com. It's bittersweet, isn't it? Because we love clear water. We wish we could stay. Uh -huh. We're excited to go, you know, see Disney World and, yep. you know, have the next chapter of our honeymoon. But then also it's cost quite a lot, which we didn't anticipate originally. Yeah. So there's pros and cons. But ultimately, like we've said a million times, safety is more important. And obviously, that also means that I suppose the point I was trying to make is we're not we're, we're now leaving much earlier in the day. Whereas I think originally mm -hmm. we said we were going to be going to Cabana Bay around 5 p.m. or 3 p.m. Uh, we've now moved that right back to 9am going to the Swan. So we won't really do anything here tomorrow. I think we'll probably wake up, maybe have a look to see what view the, what the view's like from our balcony. Mm -hmm. Pack up the last couple of bits and then we might grab a coffee at the marketplace here before then grabbing our taxi, our taxi driver we've been in touch with who's due to meet us at the reception entrance, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, at 9am tomorrow. And will then take us to 
uh, the Walt Disney World Swan Hotel is going to be a long journey, at least two hours, I imagine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's not great, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, fingers crossed the weather, uh, the storm kind of, you know, for everybody's benefit, maybe veers off a bit west back into the kind of the ocean um, as opposed to kind of causing too many problems in like the Florida Panhandle or Tampa or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I hope it has um, the least amount of damage as possible that a storm like that can have to people's yeah. livelihoods. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this clear water uh, vlog, um, whether it's in one or two parts, we'll wait and see. Um, you'll see a brief bit of it in the morning, but ultimately tomorrow or next week's vlog um, will be, or the next time vlogs up rather, will be more focused on Orlando and kind of going down that route with the Swan Hotel and, and showing you that because it's another new hotel for us. But it certainly is. Just very quickly, I know this has gone on for quite long anyway, but overall, if you could sum up Sam Pearl in three words, what would it be? Ah, uh, um, luxurious, peaceful, and oh my God, I don't even know. Warm. It's been very warm. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean in temperature. I just meant in terms of the, yeah. the staff. Being no, friendly. but in every sense, yeah. like the, the staff. Um, I was saying earlier, I, I've packed them away, but um, they leave like positive affirmations everywhere um, around the hotel. So warm. Yeah, warm, warm. cozy, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's just a fantastic resort. And hopefully we've shown a fair bit of it for all of you um, because it is it's brilliant and so, we've got shark yeah. tank on the tv which we're going to put a sleep timer to and <laughs> drift off to sleep and probably wake up quite early in the morning ready for our uh, taxi to orlando so mm. thanks so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one Bye.